Okay guys, welcome back to the shop. As you can see, we are boring Scott's 258 engine block. Uh, now I gave these a quick measurement when I took it apart and we had a real we had a real heavy ridge in there and we had a real tapered hole. So I bought uh, some silver light pistons for it. I bought some 30s. I bought some 40s. Um, uh, I have 60s on the order, uh, on order, but um, I didn't think I was going to need those. So I started in the first cylinder, and 30 didn't come anywhere near cleaning it up. Uh, I went to 40, and that did not clean up the top couple inches. Um, I went right to 60 at that point. Uh, number one is sets uh, five, five below uh, 60 over. Uh, number two. I just bored and I just was able to clean that up at 60. Uh, right up here at the top, we've got some severe um, wear, so, you know, side to side. So that was giving me trouble. I'm going to cruise through the rest of them, hopefully clean all of them up at, uh, at 60. Um, our bore spacing on a 258, let's come around here. Our bore spacing on a 258 is 4 inch 380. And I zeroed out as you can see, and we'll dial in for 380 again and uh, go on to the next hole. Uh, now, the nice thing about the sip is I can set the cutter and then um, play around with my feed rate to get uh, a single pass cut. Uh, so, right now, let's see if we can see this. Right now, I am on a one thousandth of an inch feed. Uh, normally I bore at four thousandths, but um, we are going from at the very bottom of the hole. We're standard bore uh, three seven fifty, and at the top uh, we're close to uh, three seven eight hundred. So that's why we're going sixty. So uh, I've got a slow speed um, on my feed, and I've got uh, the same old. Um, RPMs that I normally use and uh, let's see if we can get the pump running and we'll just dial that into 4 inch 380 if I can do this while holding the camera. Yeah, I went by it. Okay, it's, uh, it's kind of tricky with camera in hand, but we'll, uh, we'll get that guy right at 4 inch 380. It's helpful to know the bore spacing, it just makes it easier. Um, digital readouts are perfect on this machine, so it makes it super fast. 4 inch 380. And lock that. Okay, 4 inch 380. And we'll go over to our next hole. We'll just continue on with the boring. Okay guys, making progress. One, two, three, four, cleaned up nice. Creeping up on number five. And I'm just hoping that it's going to clean up the back of this hole here. Um, we won't know until we start, but uh, if we get number five, then all we've got to worry about is number six. So hopefully we're going to grab this with, uh, I'm leaving about five for honing, so uh, even if it leaves a little shadow, which I'm not sure if it's going to do, even if it leaves a little shadow, we still got five to go. So let's send that guy down there and see what it looks like.
Okay guys, last hole cleaned up perfect. And time to get this guy into the honing tank. Uh, I gotta make a little bit of room here. Uh, here is that uh, Willys Americar engine, the 442. Uh, okay, this has been honed. I haven't cleaned it yet. Uh, I'm gonna clean this one in the Scrambler 258 at the same time. But uh, this one has been bored, honed, and is ready to go together. And um, we'll just put this in uh, out of the way for now. Uh, I want to get the Scrambler 258 off the sip, and we'll make room in the honing tank and uh, get that in there next. Okay guys, Scott's 258 in the honing tank. Uh, I just had uh, my supplier ship out a set of 60 overs. Uh, everything cleaned up good at 60. Uh, we didn't have any surprises. Uh, I did think I was going to get it in a lot less than that, but um, sometimes you don't know until you send that cutter through there. Uh, 60 over Scott. Uh, pistons should be here in a couple days. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to start honing until I have the pistons. Um, normally, uh, in the past, pistons have been a lot better than they are today. But um, the guys that, uh, you know, e even Silverlight, they say they're going to keep it within a half a thou. And uh, I've had them up to a thou and a half off from one piston to another. So I'll start honing this as soon as the pistons arrive. And uh, we'll be on to assembly in no time. Uh, let's go over here and take a look at another six cylinder head. Uh, Scott's head is finished. This is another one. Uh, a lot of 258 action in the shop lately. Uh, it seems to be one of my uh, least watched videos when I do 258 stuff, so I don't do too much of that anymore. Uh, but here is a ported, uh, it's hard to see. Here is a ported uh, 258 head, and um, I'm just about ready to put the seats in. Uh, I did put guides in this one. I did cut the stumps off so I could run any lift cam in this one. I'm not sure what the uh, customer is going to want on this one. And I just finished taking 60 thousandths off of the surface here. Uh, that will raise our compression a little bit. I think you can see. We got a lot of, a lot of cast iron here. So 60 thousandths. That'll boost us up to about anywhere from 9.3 to 9.5 to 1 compression ratio. Uh, Chevy swirl tip valves are going in this one. Um, I started one of these a long time ago and um, it didn't get too much traction so uh, I don't show them too often. But uh, this is going to be a real a high performance type of thing not not crazy we're not, we're not going super crazy and, and, and trying to get 10 or 11 to 1 compression but this is going to be a real nice street machine plenty of power and uh, this one will uh, will put you back in the seat so uh, the block is uh, done on this one and the head is now just got to put the seats in bang the seats in do a three angle valve job on that get the Chevy valves in and, uh, and see what we got for seat uh, spring height and stuff we got to set the spring height on this one pretty accurately but um, 
there's that. So a lot of 258 stuff going on. There's uh, three of them in the shop right now and uh, various stages of um, rebuilding performance are going into each one of them. But Scott, you're coming along and uh, this one will be right after that one. Okay guys, uh, we're going to end the video here today. I just wanted to show you the advanced adapters kit that came in for the T18 to the 208. They make a real nice short adapter. And that's real nice. And then you get a, a new main shaft. And that's the 23 spline that fits into it'll go in there hang in there okay that goes into the 208 it also will adapt a 300 so the the 300 and the 208 uh, is the same adapter kit so there's the new main shaft uh, seal bolts and stuff like that uh, this transmission was in such good shape I don't know how much stuff I'm going to be replacing. Obviously, front and rear bearing, but uh, even the synchros, everything looks good in here. So uh, we'll just pull that apart, clean it up real good, put the new main shaft in the adapter, and uh, and get busy adapting that uh, that 208 to it. So more coming on that as I get free time. Um, this is kind of this is for the J truck, uh, and that's my truck. So obviously, this doesn't get too much priority, but. The adapter kit did come in, super happy with it, uh, main shaft, you know, all their products are real good, the main shaft is high quality, and um, I'm glad that they kept the adapter so stubby, that's going to work out real nice. So, that's all I have for you today, I'll be back with uh, more videos on, oh, uh, uh, Lou's engine and Travis's engine are almost finished, so uh, I will show you the finishing up on those engines. And uh, they're going in a test stand uh, one after the other. So um, I'll show you those engines running very soon. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.